Hey everybody, Jason here with GHL Pro, and today I wanna to talk to you about how to go out and get your first 10 clients with High Level. It's the same process that we went through when we first got started, and why this is so important is as you sign up for a free 30-day trial, there'll be a link down below, the clock starts ticking, right? You have 30 days to make this work, and if you're anything like me, you have tried multiple things over your life that maybe didn't work out all the way. I tried so many different business models. Some worked moderately, some didn't work at all, some I lost money on. And maybe you have people in your life, a spouse, some parents, some friends that are putting some doubt in your head or they're saying, oh, you're trying something else. Why are you trying all these things? Just go get a real job, all these different things. And as somebody who wants to get out of their nine to five or has just always been a purebred entrepreneur and wants to find something that's going to work, you have to get some success. And I think what I have for you today is something that is very realistic. It's not promising you the moon. It's something exactly the way that we did it. And it gives you some freedom to have flexibility. I'll explain that in a minute. So what we're going to do if you are lost, if you're just looking for a way to start bringing in some revenue with this new business model, maybe you have some time left on your free trial, is we're going to go out and start offering services. And the specific service that we offered was social media posting. Now, before you say you're not interested or you turn this off, I want you to know that this is a very easy to understand service to offer a business owner and also a very easy service for you to deliver. And you can scale up and do anything you want, but the first goal with having your high-level account is getting your account paid for so that it's no longer an expense now it's an asset. Now it's a business that you can build upon. And we started with this. We don't offer this service anymore, but it was a great way to bring in money so that I never had to come out of our pocket to cover the monthly expense of high level. And we've only made money and more and more money since then. So I'm going to show you exactly the emails I sent out, the audience I went after, how I delivered upon that service, and how I then ultimately was able to get out of this phase and move into phase number two and beyond. So I wanna show you a quick Google search. If you just search for something like social media posting services, uh, usually on page one, sometimes page two, there's this sponsored ad, Smarcoms. I've referenced this company in the past. There's a bunch of others as well. Well, look, we'll look at this specific one just to show you what they're offering, what they're charging. So you can see a little bit more about it. So hire a social media manager, social media marketing manager from just $99 per month. We'll see what that includes in just a second. So if we scroll down a little bit on the page, you can see affordable pricing plans here. And you can see the basic account is 10 social media posts per month for $99 per month. 20 is for the plus plan, 20 social media posts per month, $195 a month. And then 30 social media posts per month, $295 per month. If you were to model after this pricing, which I've seen this company around and running ads for at least two years that I've been making, videos and looking at these types of services, I can tell you that they have to be doing something, right? Because they're continuing to spend money on ads. So I assume they're somewhat successful. So if you were to charge the same amount, $295 for 30 social media posts per month, that would cover your high level expenses with just one client. And I'll show you how easy it is to deliver upon that service in just a moment. But just know that business owners know they need to be posting more on social media, even in this day and age, and it's something that you can easily offer them that they are willing to pay for. Another thing I wanna point out is that it says one social channel included. That means just Facebook or just Instagram. You can, with high-level social media posting tool, you can post on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, X, Twitter, TikTok. I'll show you all of those, and now YouTube, which is awesome. So you have all the bases covered. You can post on any social platform that most business owners use. If they want to add an additional channel, it's $10 per month uh, for each channel. So Facebook would be $99 a month. And then if you wanted to add Instagram, it would be an additional $10 per month. You don't have to do this complicated of pricing. You could just do three social media platforms for $2.95 a month for 30 posts. And I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, so now how do we actually go out and get the clients, right? How do we find them? Well, what I did is I went after the real estate agent market. Um, it's not necessarily the best market out there. Uh, a lot of agents are struggling right now. So you might want to look at that niche, but also look at some others as well. Maybe you have some friends or family in a certain type of industry that you could go after, but it didn't take a lot of emails to get some activity flowing and get some clients coming in. 
But I'll show you a big mistake I made right at the beginning was I tried doing this beta testers um, method, 10 beta testers wanted done for you social media posting. I said, we're looking for 10 agents to try out a new done for you social media posting. Um, and what happened was I did get some responses, but the way that I framed this made it sound like it was free or something that people wouldn't have to pay for. Uh, you can go that route if you want, and you'll get a lot of people saying yes and signing up, and then maybe that could lead into paid clients in the future. But the goal of this video is to show you how to start getting some clients now. So this beta testers approach, I, I quickly switched from because I found a lot of people thought I was bait and switching them or whatever. I was going to do a, a short free trial, but it seemed like the way I was framing this just turned them off instantly. So I switched to a different model, which I'm going to show you. So you will see on this email just how simple of a message I sent. I didn't send like four paragraphs explaining all the things that they get and all of that stuff. I just wanted to pique curiosity. So I was just sending this cold message over Gmail to real estate agents. Real estate agents, the great thing about them is you can find their email on just about any website, right? So it's not hard to find these types of people. So I said the, the uh, subject line was strange question. Thought it would open up some curiosity. I've also done like quick question, something like that. And then what I've done here is, although this isn't nine words, there's a very famous marketing method called the nine word email. I think it was done by somebody called Dean Jackson. And basically it's just a very short, concise question that you're asking somebody hoping for a response back. And that's your initial message to them. So it could be something like if you're dealing with a roofing client, hi, are you still interested in getting a new roof? Right. So that would be kind of the nine word email here. But what I did is I said, hi there, would you be interested in a service that posts real estate content daily for you on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn? Thanks. Jason Edwards, RETV is our brand or one of our brands. And I started getting a lot of responses. Some were said, yes, tell me more or what do you post or that kind of thing. Uh, this particular gentleman said at what cost and who owns the rights, which is an interesting question. Dan said that. So once I got a response from these people, my next phase was I would go out and I would shoot a loom video. And I said, hi, Dan, thanks for the email. Great question. You would own whatever we post on your account. I took a few minutes and looked over your business social profiles. Here's a quick video with my thoughts. And what I would do is I would pull up their Facebook page or their Instagram account or whatever I could find about them. And I would do a quick loom video. I'm not going to play the loom video, but I'm going to walk you through what I said in it reason I'm not playing it is because I'm going to show a lot of his personal information in the loom and I don't want to reveal that and have to blur all that stuff out, but I'll give you exactly what I did. So I just pulled up their Facebook account and I said, uh, Hey Dan, uh, Jason here. Thanks so much for responding to my email. Let me just kind of tell you what I'm up to and what I can maybe help you with. Um, so it looks like you're doing a pretty good job at posting on your Facebook account, but I do see that the last post you made was, was three months ago. And as I'm sure, you know, uh, Posting consistently on these social profiles is the best way to keep your audience engaged and also hopefully bring in some leads for you. So one thing that I can do is make sure that you consistently for the next 30 days, post every single day on Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, Instagram. And we're going to post real estate content for you specifically. So you don't have to worry about it. You'll know every single day you'll have something posted that matches your brand and is, is going to hopefully drive in some leads and some business for you. And that was it. And then maybe I added on some of them. I told them kind of what the pricing looked like, or I pulled up a couple of sample posts, which I'll show you where to get in a moment. But it was very casual, very nonchalant, not over salesy. I even at the end of it said, look, it's 99 bucks a month, no contracts. We can just give it a shot for 30 days. If you like it, we'll keep going. If you don't, you just let me know and I'll instantly turn it off and you won't pay anything again. And that's basically the pitch. Very casual, very nonchalant and no pressure. And I got a lot of people responding. I think in the first uh, 30 days, we got like 20 to 30 clients saying yes. I was sending maybe 50 emails a day or so, and that resulted in, in that amount of clients, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I basically just made this my mission to bring in enough money to cover our high-level expenses and to um, make a little profit so we could figure out what we really wanted to do with this software. And so that's basically in a nutshell how we did it. Loom is like 10 bucks a month. And then where I actually got the content initially was one of two ways. I would go on, I think it was Etsy. I'd go on Etsy and find like big bundle packs of like 500 social media posts for, for $10 or something like that. Or uh, I'll show you on Canva. Uh, I'll give you a couple examples if you wanted to 
serve real estate, you could do real estate and just hit search. And then Canva templates, you can see at the time when I was doing this, there weren't the, that many, but right now there's 39,516 Canva templates that are tagged with real estate. So you really don't have to pay anything more. Um, I think Canva Pro, which is what we use is, is 10 or 15 bucks a month, but uh, it's well worth it. But I think a lot of these you could get for free. And I would just download all the ones that I liked. The ones with the crown are, are for Pro. So it looks like Pro would serve you well to, to have here. But you could just find this. Let me just do a different niche. So maybe you want to go after roofing. 839 templates. Not all of them are going to be social media posts. Some of them are like website designs or logos and stuff. But you have enough to cover 30 days, right? Out of 839. And you just click on it. Download it or put it in your account, start customizing it, and you would just do like www.roofing.com. If they have different colors, you'd go and change the, the colors to whatever their colors were and download it. And then what you have to do once somebody says yes is you're going to go to, you're going to set up a sub account for them, which is really easy to do. It's uh, I have a bunch of videos on that, but it takes less than a minute to do. Now they're going to have, say, this is Bob's plumbing here. I'm just going to get on a Zoom call with Bob. I'm going to have him log in to his newly created account that I just gave him. So you'll get a, a username and password for him. And I'll say, Bob, okay, all, all you have to do is just one time, you're going to connect all the social profiles that I'm going to be posting on. And then you won't ever have to log into Facebook again. And you won't have, even have to log into this software if you don't want to. And so Bob is going to just click on these and it'll prompt him within a few steps to connect his Facebook, his Instagram, his Google, um, my business, LinkedIn, X, TikTok, uh, YouTube, and Pinterest. Most business owners you'll find use Facebook and Instagram. Facebook all, almost always. Instagram, 70% of the time, or just a guess. Um, LinkedIn, most of them have, but they don't know the login to. So not crucial, but uh, something nice to add if, if they have it. And then if they're... Um, really starting to, to be active on online. Maybe they have some YouTube content as well, but usually Facebook and Instagram is where you're going to be just fine. So we'll have him connect. Once he's connected, I'll pause the screen. I'll show you the next step of how we actually do the posting. All right, here we are inside of an account that actually has some social media profiles attached. And all we're going to do once Bob is connected all of his accounts, he's off the Zoom call, he's gone. And we just sit here. Uh, there's multiple ways to speed this process up, but I want to show you the manual way to do it. And what we're going to do is hit new post, create new post, and then you select which accounts you want to um, add there. All right, so I had to go in and reconnect this account. But if you see this, you just have to tap that reconnect button and it'll prompt you to go back in. Rarely ever happens, but I had to do that just now. So um, all I'm going to do is select the account I want to post on. So this is my RETV Facebook page. You cannot post on personal profiles. So the business does have to have a Facebook page, which if they don't, that could be an extra service that you could add for somebody is creating the banner and everything using Canva. But let's just say here, we're going to do Bob's plumbing. So um, one thing you can do is use AI built into this. If you wanted to, you can have this little, hit this little AI button and it will generate the content. So um, call Bob's plumbing and you can do Bob's plumbing, writing tone, let's do funny and hit generate. And it's going to give me a few variations of what I could post. Uh, this does cost a little bit of money, like fractions of a penny to create. So obviously that is potentially a factor in your pricing, but if you don't want to do that, you can just manually write this or use something like ChatGPT, create the posts and then come back in here and post them. But uh, let's see, when your pipes pull a Houdini and the leak appears out of nowhere, who are you going to call? Not Ghostbusters. It's time to time for Bob's Plumbing. Dial a number below for your living before your living room turns into an indoor pool. I mean, that's pretty funny. Not bad. So hit copy, continue. So I have the text of this created. I can use AI to create an image as well. Um, but let's see how I do that is hit this, this image here and then create using AI. Again, that does cost a little bit of money, like fractions of a penny to create the image. So let me just show you from Canva where we were. Let's say this was our Bob's, oh, I was doing roofing. Uh, let's just do Bob's plumbing here. And then Bob's 
well, I mean, if Bob had a logo or whatever, you could add it here, but it's super easy, drag and drop. Most people have used Canva, so this isn't anything crazy. I'm gonna hit share, download, and download this. So that is now downloading into my um, computer. You can see it's downloaded now. So I'm gonna go to back to high level, going to tap that image button again, upload from media library, upload file, and then here is that file I just created. Okay, double click it. Now it's here in, let me shrink my head down. It's here, the, the content is there. If I wanted to add Bob's number, I could I could do that. 310-111-1111. And then what I can do from here is hit schedule post or post now. So if it was day one, I could do post now. Otherwise I could do schedule post for tomorrow at let's say 9.01 a.m hit schedule post, and now that has been scheduled. You can see it's scheduled on here. Now, say I made a mistake. Say I needed to move this around to a different date. For whatever reason, I accidentally posted two on one day, or or I meant to do this on the weekend for their big special, or whatever it is. I can just hit this open planner. And what's great about this is, say I did this for Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, multiple platforms. Um, normally, I'd have to log into all those different platforms and reschedule this. But with this, I can literally just drag it to the next weekend or another day, and I can see, okay, that's scheduled there. What's great about this view, too, is that I can see if I'm promising somebody 30 posts in a month, I can see that I didn't do one for for here, so I'll just tap that and start creating it. Okay, and go through that same process. So I'm going to go back and just delete this so I don't have this thing posting on one of my accounts but you can see how easy that was. So that in a nutshell is how I would deliver. And if I weren't doing this demo for you guys, I could have this entire month built out in probably 15 minutes or so, especially if I had done the work beforehand and gone to Canva and, and prepared a bunch of these templates here, I could go through and create a bunch of these really quickly. So something that you can easily deliver. So now that you get the overall concept of what we would do to get our first 10 clients using a service, let me kind of show you what phase two you can move into is. All right, here we are back on our chart, how to get your first 10 clients. And I truly believe that this is one of the easiest ways to go out and get your first 10 clients because it's a no brainer for a business owner. They know they need to be posting more on social media even today. And it's a very easy thing for you to deliver to them. I've talked about on a lot of other videos how you could start off by selling software directly but it is a bit of a uh, higher learning curve, right? For you and the business owner. So you not only have to know high level, but you also have to be able to teach it to somebody else to use your software. You can make some sales, but there is a, a degree of, of teaching somebody how to use the software to keep them paying month after month. With this particular service, you could scale this up to 20, 30, 50 people and not have to really hire anybody, or you could easily hire a family member or a virtual assistant or somebody to run this side of the business for you. So I think it's a great thing to offer. But at some point, if you want to get out of that side of it, then the next phase for me is selling software with a service. For example, something I've talked about on, on past videos is creating websites for a business owner that doesn't have them and then saying, hey, I'll also throw in a chat widget to help you communicate with leads that are landing on your website or I can help you get reviews from your website and business people that are good doing business with you online, whatever the case may be, you can just combine websites and easy to understand services like reviews or a way to chat with customers on there. Or something I've been talking a lot about lately is running Facebook ads with UpEx, which we have a link down below for a total video we did with the one of the co-founders, Sam, who walks you through how he got 100 something clients in his first 60 days using the service that he now offers under the brand of UpEx. So check that out as well. But that is, in my opinion now, phase two, unless you're just super tech savvy, you've been uh, trying high level for a while, and now you're ready to start selling it as a software. I really think starting with selling a service like social media posting is something that you can go out and start getting clients pretty quickly. So um, with that, I hope you guys got some value out of this. Make sure you click the links down below to get a free 30 day trial of high level and also all the other links down below if you are looking for UpX or one of our other services there. So with that, I'll wrap up. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.